Hello, and welcome to episode four of Come With The Light and Reveal, where every week we're gonna be discussing some of the beautiful stained glass artwork that adorns our sanctuary. And for this day on episode four, we're gonna be discussing four special people, the gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Their stained glass windows have special symbols that identify each of these evangelists. Their books contain the good news of the life and promise of Jesus. We have the lion, the ox, the winged man, and lastly, the eagle. Each gospel presents a different view of Jesus, and the symbols associated with each writer reflect those differences. Starting with Matthew, Matthew's symbol is the winged man. His gospel presents Jesus as living and interacting with people of all backgrounds. Matthew was a tax collector and was an outcast amongst many of the Jews, but Jesus was willing to dine with tax collectors and sinners alike. He opened different boundaries that Matthew was embraced in. And as such, throughout Matthew's gospel, he talks about different people of different backgrounds a lot. He starts his gospel with the visit of the three wise men from a faraway distant land to pay tribute to their newborn king. And then at the very end of his gospel, he talks about the Great Commission, where Jesus commands his believers to go and make disciples of all nations. Mark has the symbol of the winged lion. The lion is the symbol of the tribe of Judah. Mark wrote for Jews that were already familiar with the Hebrew scriptures. He quotes the prophecies of Isaiah a lot. He, he cites the Psalms, the book of Daniel, the book of Deuteronomy. The gospel of Mark is the earliest gospel written, and it's also the shortest. Matthew and Luke have all the same material as Mark, but then they add extra things. Now Luke, his symbol is the winged ox. The ox is a symbol both of patient service and rich sacrifice. Luke tells how Jesus served many with his healing miracles, such as the time when Jesus fed 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Luke shows that Jesus' sacrifice was enough to redeem all people for all time of every background. John's symbol at last is the eagle. The eagle symbolizes the soul rising high above the earth. John focuses a lot on Jesus' heavenly nature, his special connection with his father, God. In the first chapter of John, Jesus is the co-creator of the universe. And in the book of John, chapter 17, there are prayers that are not found in anywhere else in the Gospels. These windows show the symbols of the gospel writers in the form of the Sephirim, the highest order of angels. These are the angels closest to God's throne. Isaiah describes them as having six wings, two over their eyes, two to cover their feet, and two to fly. You can see the symbols of the gospel writers in the cover of the baptismal font. Our windows depicting these evangelists are lovingly dedicated as a memorial to Betty Lee and Harold Roberts, given by Phyllis Roberts. Thank you very much. We can't wait to see you next week and hear more about our stained glass collection.